On behalf of His Excellency the Governor General, the Acting Governor General, Mr. S. W. Tapley, CVO, QC, JP, I welcome you to this investiture. Dr. Simeon Daniel, Order of National Hero. Dr. Simeon Daniel is awarded for his service in politics and law. Dr. The Right Excellent Sir Simeon Daniel was born on the 22nd of August, 1934, to Joseph and Melvina Daniel in Barnsgut, village Nevis. He received his early education at the St. Thomas's Government Elementary School in Nevis. He entered the teaching profession as a pupil teacher and attained the Leeward Islands Teacher's Certificate in 1957. A driven man with a strong desire to become a lawyer, Dr. Daniel began his legal tutorials at the Council of Legal Education School of Law in England in 1962. In 1966, he became a barrister at law and was called to the bar in England. He returned to Nevis in 1966 and served as Assistant Secretary in the Ministry of External Affairs and was admitted to the local bar that same year. The following year, he was appointed Crown Counsel and later Registrar of the Supreme Court. He entered private practice in St. Kitts and Nevis in 1969. In 1970, Dr. Daniel was among the founding members of a political party called the Nevis Reformation Party, NRP which was founded on the principle of e equality and empowerment for the residents of Nevis. Following the formation of a coalition government of the People's Action Movement and the Nevis Reformation Party, he assumed the portfolios of Minister of Finance and Nevis Affairs on the 19th of February, 1980. Land ownership became a reality for Nevisians when under Dr. Daniel, the land reform program was set up and it became the first of such program in the OECS. A new trust was seen in tourism, when under his leadership, he attracted the Four Seasons Hotel to Nevis. He established the Bank of Nevis in 1985. Dr. Daniel died on the 27th of May, 2012. On the 16th of September, 2013, during the celebrations to mark the 30th anniversary of independence, Dr. Simeon Daniel was awarded the Order of National Hero posthumously. Here today to receive the award, it is widow, Lady Sheila Daniel. <laughs> Dr. Simeon Daniel, Order of National Hero. Sylvia Manning was born in St. Kitts to Janet Akers and Cyril Manning. She recalled that at the age of three, she was missing from home, only to be found later sitting in on a class at a nearby primary school. She never left the school environment from that time onwards, until the age of 16, after acquiring two seven standard certificates from the girls' school in St. Kitts. In 1955, she began her nursing career receiving a, a diploma in general nursing in 1958 and a certificate in midwifery in 1960 from the Cunningham Hospital here in St. Kitts. Between 1961 and 1968, she worked as a staff nurse. To prepare for a more senior position, she received a scholarship to pursue a certificate course in ward administration at the Royal College of Nursing in London, England. At the completion of this course, she was promoted to the post of ward sister at the Joseph and France General Hospital in 1968 
to manage a newly created Burns unit. After spending 17 years in the hospital, she was appointed nutrition officer in 1972. A diploma in nutrition was awarded to her in 1973 by the Caribbean Food and Nutrition Institute of the Pan American Health Organization and World Health Organization at the University of the West Indies in Jamaica. As the nutrition officer in the Federation of St. Kitts, Nevis and Anguilla, Ms. Manning's activities were directed to nutrition education at the various health clinics to reduce the incidence of malnutrition among children. This was a challenging job since she was a sole nutrition, nutrition officer in both St. Kitts and Nevis. She is well known by citizens of St. Kitts and Nevis for her television program, Nutrition and You, that was aired from 1975 to 1981 on ZIZ. Ms. Manning is the recipient of many awards from professional associations and community groups. The latest honor is of is that of a standing trophy from the Newtown Diabetic Community in appreciation for her support to the program. Ms. Manning is known to have blazed a trail of nutrition education and today is the proud recipient of this honor graciously bestowed on her by Her Majesty the Queen. Ms. Sylvia Viola Manning, member of the most excellent order of the British Empire, MBE. Mrs. Lorna Richards, member of the most excellent order of the British Empire, MBE. Mrs. Lorna Richards is awarded for public service. Mrs. Lorna Ianti Rosetti Shepherd Richards was born in St. Kitts on August 21, 1932, to Mrs. Doris Shepherd, a teacher of St. Kitts and Nevis, and Mr. James Shepherd, a police officer of Antigua and Barbuda. Mrs. Lorna Richards was a distinguished public servant of 26 years. She was appointed to the public service in 1952 and retired in 1978, having made a sterling contribution. She worked at different departments within the public service, including the Labor Department, Treasury and Public Works before going to Barbados and Jamaica to, per to pursue studies in administration. In 1961, she was seconded to ZIZ as part of the inaugural team and became the first female announcer at ZIZ. Mrs. Richards worked with the late right excellent Sir C.A. Paul Southwell for many years as a secretary. She also worked with the team that was selected to set up the Mid-Atlantic Bank, which later became the St. Kitts, Nevis and Anguilla National Bank. Mrs. Richards also held the position of Assistant Secretary in the Ministry of Education, Health and Welfare and later became the personal assistant to the late Premier, the right excellent Sir Robert Llewellyn Bradshaw for approximately 10 years until his passing in 1978. In the field of music, Mrs. Richards was formally introduced to music by her mother at the tender age of five. She became an accomplished musician playing for over 50 years at the Methodist Church, both in St. Kitts and St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands. She also worked, she also volunteered teaching in music, typing and shorthand. Mrs. Richards was married to the late Mr. Arnold Richards, CSM, for 42 years before his death on August the 21st, 2014. She has a son, Mr. Bertram, Mr. Bertram Richards, and a granddaughter, Miss Synesia Richards. Mrs. Richards is a Christian and has dedicated her work in the public service to the glory of God. Today, she's the proud recipient of this honor graciously bestowed on her by Her Majesty the Queen. Mrs. Lorna Richards, member of the most excellent order of the British Empire.
Mrs. Leonie James, companion of the Star of Merit, CSM. Mrs. Leonie James is awarded for her service in preschool education and the community. A dedicated and committed teacher, Mrs. James served in various capacities, including teacher and eventually headmistress of the St. Paul's Primary School. In the early 1980s, Mrs. James was challenged to a program that would embody children from infancy to four years of age. And that work was the foundation for the St. Kitts and Nevis Early Childhood Program. Over the subsequent years, she sought the requisite organizational training and continued to build the capacity that would be required for a formalized early childhood program. In 1983, the, the early childhood development was born, a credit to her dedication and continued commitment, and thus ensuring a solid educational foundation for the nation's children. Her vision was embraced, and the construction of child development centers, many combining nurseries and preschool services began. Over the years, the foundation that Mrs. James and her team laid has resulted in a program that has been commended as the best early childhood program in the Caribbean, a model to be followed. Mrs. James is also an evangelist and has helped to guide the moral compass of our people. Mrs. James' commitment to education, in particular the development of our vibrant early childhood program, makes her a deserving recipient of the 2014 National Honours Award. Mrs. Leonie James, Companion of the Star of Merit, CSM. Mr. Clement David Obidaya Williams, Companion of the Star of Merit, CSM. Mr. Clement David Obidaya Williams is awarded for his service in science, education, and culture. Mr. Clement David Obidaya Williams, popularly known as Bouncing, is a Kittishan playwright, author, taxi and tour operator, and a retired educator. Born to a Nivision father and a Kittishan mother, his early life was chronicled in his first book of the same name, much to the pleasure of citizens at home and abroad. In 2014, he published Storm Without a Breeze, which contained the script of three plays he had written over his 40 years pastime as a playwright, humorously and creatively tackling social issues, ranging from health to religion, to politics to economics. A dedicated teacher in the area of science, education, and culture, Mr. Williams has served in different categories as a secondary school chemistry and mathematics teacher in Keon, Sandy Point, and Bastia High Schools, and as a science coordinator and curriculum development officer. Mr. Williams was also a member of the National Science, Mathematics, and Technology Fair Committee for several years. He has published works in CXE school-based assessment in biology, chemistry, and integrated science. Community involved, he's the founder of the National Players Theatre Movement and served as its producer and director from 1976 to 2012. Mr. Williams is a husband, a father, a grandfather, and an avid traveler. Mr. Williams' commitment to education and his continued involvement in the performing arts makes him a deserving recipient of the 2014 National Honours Award. Mr. Clement David Obidaya Williams, <laughs> companion of the Star of Merit, CSM. Mrs. Vinetta Henry, Medal of Honor. 
Mrs. Vinetta Henry is awarded for her service in nursing and community service. Mrs. Pearlene Vinetta McIntosh Henry is the daughter of Mr. Arnold and Mrs. Mary McIntosh of Sandy Point, St. Kitts. She received her formal education at the Sandy Point Girls School and then moved on to the St. Kitts Nevis Girl High School in Bastyr. She confesses that she always wanted to become a nurse and insists that it was a calling rather than a profession. Mrs. Henry began her nursing career in 1956, a career that spanned 45 years. During this time, she treated the weak and ailing, and as a midwife, ushered new life into this world, both in her homeland and in the British Virgin Islands, where she served for three years. Nurse Henry served as a student nurse, a district nurse, midwife, family planning nurse, and public health nurse. In 1982, her seniority was recognized when she was appointed family planning administrator of St. Kitts and Nevis, a position she held until her retirement. Active in her community and church, Ms. Henry serves as assistant organist in the Sandy Point Methodist Church since the age of 15, and later served as a full-time organist from 1981 to 2000. In retirement, she keeps busy by making uniforms for preschool students in her area and by advising families on health issues. Nurse Henry has achieved many milestones in her personal and professional life. Among these, she counts her blessing of three children, six grandchildren, grandchildren and four great-grandchildren, of whom she is justly proud. Mrs. Henry's dedicated and loyal service to the communities where she served, and her continued service in retirement makes her a deserving recipient of the 2014 National Honours Award. Here today to receive the award on her behalf is her daughter, Ms. Carleen Henry. <laughs> Mr. Darwood St. Lloyd Mudadabari, Mayor of Town. Mr. Darwood St. Lloyd Mudadabaiwan is awarded for his service in journalism and music. Having served as a teacher, a community activist, and a member of various community organizations, Mr. Byron's most notable contribution has been in the field of journalism and music. Having served for over 36 years as a reporter, assistant manager, and editor. He is now the managing editor for one of the nation's longest published papers and served as a correspondent for the Associated Press for over six years. He conducted a series of interviews with Mr. Lee Llewellyn Moore, then political leader of the opposition St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party, which appeared weekly in the Labour Spokesman and was later published in a book by Dr. Simon Jones Hendrickson entitled Interviews with Lee Llewellyn Moore and Darwood Byron. A consumer trainer, he can be credited for nurturing many of the nation's young journalists. Mr. Byron is noted for his commitment to the highest ideals of his profession, a professional musician. He was instrumental during the, day, the golden days of St. Kitts and Nevis when the bands served as ambassadors for the islands. Mr. Byron was the original trombone player in the world-renowned Elimat and the GIS Brass International, a member of the Singus and Nevis Defense Force Band and founding member of the Grand Masters Band. Active in the community, he was instrumental in the establishment of the National Youth Council, was a member of the African Liberation Movement and other organizations. Mr. Byron's commitment to the field of journalism, music, and his community activism makes him a deserving recipient of the 2014 National Honours Award. Mr. Darwood St. Lloyd Medada Byron, Medal of Honour. I think it went very well. The persons who received the award are deserving, and um, it's the combination, of course, of the New Year's Honours out of the UK, um, which would have been 2015, 
and last years and, and the previous year in terms of the local honours. And, um, you know, I think they were supported well by their relatives and friends. And it's always a useful occasion to be able to praise persons who are deserving of honour. I want to join with the Governor General in extending heartfelt congratulations to all those who have been selected for high national honours. Today, through the investiture, we sought to publicly give the acclaim, the respect and the honour that these deserving citizens require at this particular time, as we remember their work and their contribution to national growth and development. There were eight honorees, all in my view, well deserving of the honour. And so the, it was, as it were, a meritorious um, selection of citizens. We had Dr. the Right Excellent, Sir Simeon Daniel, the Order of National Hero, and that was awarded for his contribution to the field of politics and law. This, of course, is being done posthumously, and his widow, Lady Sheila Daniel, accepted that most deserving honor on his behalf. Sir Simeon is well known nationally, perhaps more so, for his political work, more perhaps than in the field of law. And in serving the people of Nevis, he was indefatigable, he was committed, he was loyal and he was determined to the end. Indeed, part of his legacy would be Clause 113, which has now become famous to some in relation to the Constitutional Order of 1983. And when we look at his presentation, as the debates were taking place prior to the ascent of the British government, one of the commitments he made was that it was important that the country move forward and that Nivisians and Nevis should never be denied an opportunity if things did not materialize in the way anticipated. Hence, 113, in his view, was that safeguard. So we want to congratulate him for his contribution and his service not only in the Parliament on behalf of the people of Nevis, but certainly federally, because he served in several portfolios subsequent to the 1980 general elections. We honour, and the Queen has been pleased, to honour and salute the contribution of Sylvia Viola Manning for her work in the area of public health. Ms. Manning, of course, has lived for a very long time in Tabernacle and annoyed then as the daughter of Miss Akers. Her work as an activist, as a public health provider in the area of nutrition will be well remembered. And for me as a young person growing up, that was the area in which I best recall her contribution to health. We had also Miss Lorna I. Richards, who was awarded the MBE in 2014. And we are pleased to salute again her very helpful contribution to her particular sphere of public service. At the local level in 2014, the appropriate committee had proposed for cabinet acceptance the nominations of the following persons for national award. Dr. Milton Whitaker, CSM, was awarded for his contribution to science and education. Mr. Whitaker was absent today. We had Mrs. Leonie James awarded the CSM for her work in preschool and community service. Again, we commend her for her strong contribution, particularly as a pioneer in early childhood education. Latterly, Mrs. James would become perhaps better known for advocacy in terms of Christian living and Christian life. We had also Mr. Clement David Obadiah Williams, CSM, awarded for his work in science, in education, and in culture. Bouncing William, as he is properly known, 
as well acclaim for his work as a playwright, an actor, an educator of education, and he had been in the forefront of many issues impacting upon education. I recall as Minister of Education when we were attempting to grapple with the challenges of low participation in the areas of science and mathematics, we had called upon him to chair the Cymatec, which was a committee set up to deal specifically with getting more participation and better results in science and mathematics. And he chaired that um, activity or program in the Ministry of Education for many years. So I personally want to congratulate him and his work. Mrs. Vinetta Henry, she has been awarded the MH for work in nursing and community service. The honor has been accepted today by her daughter, Mrs. Carleen Henry Morton. Again, we acclaim her work, we thank her for her contribution, and we wish her well. And the final awardee by no means the least is Mr. Dawood St. Clyde Mudada Byron, MH, awarded for his work in journalism and music. Daddy, as he is affectionately known, has been around for a very long time, making his contribution in the field of music and in the field of journalism, particularly an assignment with the Labour spokesman. We want to thank all of these honorees who we believe are well deserving of the honor which has been accorded them and wish them well and God's mercies for the future. Thank you.